here in Nazareth. The first one was the Annunciation, when the angel Gabriel came unto Mary and told her that she'd be giving birth to the Son of God. And the other was when Jesus, at the age of 30, went to the synagogue and announced that he was the fulfillment of the prophecies. Now, since you guys have been around Israel a little bit, maybe you've seen some ruins. Mm -hmm. Some ruins, some dead stones, and that makes it very hard to picture what it would have been like to live during first century. So our goal here at Nazareth Village is to make those dead stones, those ruins, come to life so you can see what it was like to live during Jesus' time. Now, throughout the years, many specialists, many archaeologists got together and studied what it would have been like to live in first century Nazareth, and because of them, we now have Nazareth Village. This is where Nazareth Village is located. It's about 500 meters, or five-minute walk from the old city up here, which is where it's believed that Jesus lived. Now, Nazareth Village is located on a first century vineyard. We know this for a few reasons. First of all, we found first century pottery, pottery shards on the land. And also because we found an authentic first century wine press on the land that you'll actually see once we get outside. Now, you can see here that bare feet are stepping on grapes. This is how in first century they would crush up the grapes to get them ready to be processed to make wine. Now, they did not use shoes, and they did not use stone for a very specific reason. I'm not going to tell you why. Think about it, and when we actually get there, I'll tell you why. Mm 